Hello Star Wars action figure fans and collectors, TCC 2234 back again with another Star Wars action figure review. And today I'm bringing you, um, my only complete evolutions pack, the, um, Fet Evolutions, or Fet Legacy. Uh, the title says it properly. Um, this pack came with three figures, um, Django Fett, uh, Mandalore, I think the Indomitable, and, um, Boba Fett, which is my favorite figure out of this. Now, before I go on to these, um, three, I want to tell you I don't have the box, like said, you know, they're all in the garage, you know, I'm not someone who, like, keeps all the boxes just out so I can review them. I'm not a fortune teller, so, um, if you want pictures, just, um, message me and I'll get to you as soon as possible. So, um, on to the figures, um, let's go to Boba, uh, Django Fett first. I actually really like Django Fett, um, he's my only Django I have, and, um, sadly with mine, just want to show you if you, um, put his helmet on and off, his face starts to kind of turn orange. Uh, try not to do that, but kind of looks like he's a little scuffed up. I don't mind it. Uh, his accessories, hope you don't mind me. Um, he's got a little headset, which is really, really cool. He's got his um, Mandalorian helmet, which is really nice. Really nice helmet. Uh, two West Star Blasters. Custom West Star Blasters. Uh, his backpack, or jetpack. His jetpack. And we got the figure. Uh, showing you the figure all stripped down. Uh, really nice detailing. Um, really nicely done. Um, putting his armor back on. Sorry about this, I just want to put on his helmet and jetpack. You can see how he looks really nice in it. But at times, his neck sticks out of the bottom. So what I do is, um, when I apply it, I lip the helmet under his head kind of hard to do in front of the camera and looks a little different but no chin uh, that's what I usually do with my um, Django uh, Boba doesn't have this issue but um, Django does so um, that's really Django fat um, articulation is ball jointed neck ball and shoulders and elbows uh, swivel forearms um, I think he has swivel, yeah, no, it's actually ball jointed waist, um, swivel hips, ball hinged knees, and ball hinged ankles. Okay, let's put Django Fett aside and look at the Mandalore. Now, the Mandalore is really, really, really cool. Um, he's one of my few, um, what is it, um, Knights of the Old Republic figures I have. Um, I think the only ones I have are, um, Malak and, um, what's her name? I don't know. Um, I did review her. Uh, so, yeah, just look in my reviews and you'll see it. You'll know what I'm talking about. But, um, detailing on this figure is superb. I love it. They spent a lot of time designing it. It's really, really awesome. <coughs> love the thing. Um, he did come with an alternate weapon. He has a staff. And he has a battle axe. That battle axe looks really cool. See the detailing on it. Really nice. Um, his shield is really nice. Um, fairly detailed. Um, no printing on it though. This is how it's applied if you're having issues getting it on. He holds the little peg and that goes through his arm. Just let me take that off to show you how simple it is. 
actually not all that simple, but it's kind of easy. Um, detailing on this mask is really, really nice. Sorry about that. See, it's really nice detailing on his mask. Like I said, Hasbro, you know, did a really, really good job on this figure. Um, his articulation is different from um, Django, I think. Um, ball jointed neck, ball hinged shoulders and elbows, swivel wrists. Yeah, he has a swivel waist, swivel hips, ball hinged knees, and ball hinged ankles. And that is the Mandalore. And um, going on to uh, Boba Fett, the final Fett in this, even though the Mandalore is not a Fett. I want to prefer Cass's Fett, really. Uh, Boba Fett is um, a really, really nice figure. Um, I did kind of say I didn't like it over the um, Tax Saga Legends. Right there. Um, I still prefer Tax Saga Legends, but... Um, I need an e I need an ESB fat and uh this is um a nice one. Even though I am gonna get the um T V C one here soon and use that instead, but this one's still really nice. Um the figure itself is highly detailed. Um this helmet is really, really nice if the camera will capture it. His um little cloth thing. I'm not sure if it's just mine that's frayed or um, they're always frayed. I don't know. Um, his backpack is highly weathered and worn. It doesn't have any like printing or detailing. Um, all the rest of them is just really really nicely done. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, seeing his blaster being highly detailed. Uh, he also came with a different weapon. Sorry if it's not in front of the screen. This little pistol. I don't understand. I don't think he ever had it. But it's really nice. It's a really nice add-on anyway. So I'm trying to put it on. Uh, as you can see, um, his little holster is actually attached to his leg and is not um, a part of his belt. Would have been better if it would be a part of his belt, so it'd be optional for people to have it or not. They could just cut the belt a little. Me not being a customizer, I would not do that. Um, like all other fets of his kind, he does have a removable helmet. Boo hoo! Uh, he's got a clone face, much to my dismay. Um, really want to wish that. Um, just didn't have a removable helmet. Just was a really nice head like this. Um, but of course, leave it to Hasbro to do something stupid. Um, got some detailing there. His face is fairly detailed, very nice. And um, he he's a nice figure, but definitely not one of my favorite fets like him so it's really it um, with the fat legacy oh his articulation ball joint and neck ball hinge shoulders and elbows swivel forearms swivel waist swivel hips ball hinge knees and ball hinge ankles he also has a removable backpack just want to show you that so now is the end of the fat legacy Getting all the characters together for a final wrap-up. Uh, that's it. Um, please comment, subscribe. Um, and please, please um, subscribe. I know I already said it, but um, I really need some sus subscribers right now. Um, so make sure to subscribe. Have a good day. May the force be with you.